Well, if you're looking for a rocket's red glare this Independence Day, you'll need to know the rules. The fire risk, along with the city's no tolerance possession policy, can spark more questions than answers. That's right, as of today, we're just a week away from the 4th of July holiday, and that, of course, means that fireworks are now for sale. The city of Billings, though, wants to remind people about the law that affects not only fireworks sales, but also possession. Q2 Zoe Zandora here with us tonight with more. Zoe. Thanks, Jay. Tonight, today I met with the Billings Fire Chief uh, Bill Rash and spoke with him about a couple of reminders in regards to the law prohibiting fireworks in Billings. The city of Billings historically for many years has prohibited the sale, use or possession of fireworks. Something Rash says is primarily because they are so there are so many people here. There's a big potential for fire even in an urban setting. Things like homes being too close together, catching fire and potentially creating an almost chain reaction effect. And when it comes to selling them, possessing them, the city has zero tolerance. You cannot sell them within the city limits of buildings and you cannot use them within the city limits of buildings. And if you possess them, that is also a part of, of the, uh, the code. So it's illegal to even possess them. So, so technically to go into the county and buy them and to bring them back into the city using or possessing is there's still uh, both violations of city policy. You will st still see a number of fireworks going off. Very, very challenging for um, the law enforcement to, to actually enforce that, but they do enforce it. So, you know, you never know where that, that patrol car might be lurking and, and see that again, zero tolerance. And he also told me that the department has to have faith in the citizens to make a good decision and conform to the city code, which is again related to public safety and trying to protect them and the community. Jay. All right. Thanks, Zoe. Zoe will have more for us on that story tonight at 10 when we talk to a local fireworks retailer.